Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. And welcome back to the program, everybody. I'm Weatherman Dustin Staples. Thanks, Luis, for that update as always, as we are continuing to update you on all of the things happening in our communities and Franklin, Henry, Patrick County, the city of Martinsville, Stewart, the town of Rocky Mount, all of our localities in our division. We thank you so much for checking us out and watching us here on BTW21, Comcast Cable Channel 21, or friends on Chat Moss Cable, or if you're also watching us on YouTube, that is Facebook, or excuse me, youtube.com forward slash BTW21 News. While you're over there, I know we've been talking about this a lot. Hit that subscribe button for your chance to win a $100 gas gift card. Something we could do to give back to the community. Of course, as you know, gas prices are inching slower coming down, but of course, uh, a lot of you all probably prefer uh, X amount of number on those uh, numbers you see on the gas station as well. So we're being generous to give you a $100 gas, gas gift card to make your chance to win. Right now, though, we're taking a break from the news and talking about the weather. Obviously, it's been wet, and you're probably saying, have you been live or be on a repetitive basis every day. I've been saying the same thing it seems like for quite a while now as you know each and every afternoon scattered showers and storms, scattered showers and storms. Hey it's summertime that's what happens when we get those influences of the heat and humidity levels building together and then also uh, combining those uh, flood threats as well. You know our friends dot towards Kentucky uh, almost picked up almost 10 to 12 13 inches of rain so that same system got right close to, uh, to Virginia today and on this Thursday so the good news with that, we're not seeing extensive flooding in our hometowns, but boy, our friends that towards uh, just southwestern Kentucky and northeastern Kentucky saw a lot of those uh, heavy bands of rain that moved in earlier this morning and last night, creating some devastating events for them out there as well. So now Missouri, now Kentucky and parts of West Virginia are included on that list right now. So right now, the projection shows near normal conditions. Hopefully it stays like this. We need to dry out. I personally think some of our hometown haven't seen much of anything, but you've been fortunate enough to get those loud thunder boomers. I know earlier during the newscast one day this week, we had those storms that moved through pretty powerful prompting uh, again uh, flood warnings for some of our locations as well and so right now near normal rain conditions is expected hopefully it remains the same this area is the one that needs to really dry out because they've been so slammed with rain and so much uh, flooding out that direction as well so just keep all that in mind and make sure you check on you've got friends or family out towards those states make sure they're okay check on them and uh, obviously you know flooding is one of the deadliest killers in the summertime particularly pretty much any time of the year we get flood threats it is of concern to be keeping a close eye on all that too. So speaking of rain, here's our drought monitor. Uh, as I told you last week, uh, we'll showcase this, you know, now Martinsville is now included in this uh, part of the county, excuse me, in a little bit of the city as well. Our friends towards Emporia South Hill, that beige brownish looking color there, they're now in that still level two because some of the state really hasn't had a lot of chance to pick up on any of this heavy rainfall like some of our uh, areas around Virginia and including Southwest Virginia. That blue line you see there, that is uh, parts of, uh, there's some lakes and some creeks and also in State 81 and 77 along the uh, Allegheny Highlands and the New River Valley area. So they've seen some of those heavier downpours as much as we, we need to see them because uh, we, we really don't need to see much more rainfall because right now we are doing pretty well on our yearly rainfall departure. Temperatures for the rest of tonight though are going to pretty be humid. It's going to be muggy and tropical. Uh, passing storms later this evening. Those will quickly diminish to a mix of clearing skies partly to mostly cloudy skies overnight. Uh, temperatures staying where they have been pretty much the last uh, almost month or so uh, at lows in the 70s and upper 60s with that in mind. So a typical summer-like pattern is in the making. Some other area overnight lows, upper 60s, low 70s everywhere you go. So 220 uh, towards Rocky Mount, seeing 70 degrees, 69 both in uh, Stewart and Martinsville, uh, 70 as well as in Ferrum and Ridgeway. The cool spot, well, there's not really a cool spot on that map if you do consider 65 kind of cool. Here are your area high temperatures for your Friday. Uh, getting back up in the 70s for our friends in Patrick County where you definitely need to see a little bit of, of relief in the rain because I'm going to point this out to you real quick because 
Ararat, Claudeville, southwestern Metasedan here. This area has seen almost three to four inches of rain this entire week. And what happens, these storms don't move as much and they just stay there. And like I've been describing you, when you have a water hose or a sponge or even when you let that water hose and that spigot go, you know, you have to eventually turn that water fount, the water spout off itself to stop the rain or water in this case to kind of calm down. But as you know, the same area right here, they have picked up a lot of rain in such a short amount of time. And if you've been out towards these parts of the Patrick County, you know, most of this is kind of farmland area. So they have been trying to get their harvesting going for the fall season. If you've got corn growing, if you've got, uh, there's even parts of tobacco growing uh, in some of the county parts area here and particularly in Pennsylvania and going west eastward in our region of county. So this area here, we picked up almost about an inch and a half of rain. Same story of Franklin County. Uh, you were under that again. You've been the primary threat this week with flood warnings and watches. Rocky Mount, also Burke Chimney, those Boone's Mill districts here. Just do know that, you know, you've been doing pretty good in your rainfall. It's kind of been here. Mine is yesterday. We had those earlier hit and miss storms on Thursday evening. Yeah, they were some loud thunder boomers. So I know some of this is area of accident up towards Sandy Ridge, Landy Lens, Sandy Level, excuse me, Sandy Ridge is in North Carolina. But those folks here in Patrick County, most of this is farmland. Just keep that in mind. If you're trying to do any planting or harvesting, it's going to be a little difficult to get uh, those um, excuse me there's uh, plantations growing uh, so you can have an adequate far, uh, fall um, farm season as well so other than that yeah uh, the holy dry day if you count on our uh, Saturday stray storm maybe better to luck you may get more sunshine than anything but just do know we're gonna have a chance of some storms moving in later in the evening hours on our Saturday night on Sunday morning so if you have things outdoors if you have parties and maybe Saturday you're gonna try to schedule some yard sales and all that stuff coming up I know a lot of you all are getting ready to get back to uh, closing up summer vacation for some of us so maybe you do one of these pool events or uh, if you're going to hit the lakes up towards Philpot, uh, head up towards Smith Mount Lake outside of uh, Franklin County there it's going to be feeling really hot just remember to get off the water quickly because you are the highest target when water is arriving in that district so just keep that in mind you when you when you do see lightning and thunder miles away best bet to get off the water just in case even though if you see it on the radar you're like oh it's bypassing us still lightning can strike whether or not if you are getting a storm uh, in your district or so. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Sunday, muggy, humid, near 80. We'll cool off a little bit thanks to another front that's going to come through. So the reason why we have more partly to mostly cloudy skies on Saturday, we'll have a cold front that's going to come through. Don't get caught up on the word cold front because this is not really kind of those cooling temperatures. Now, if you remember a week ago, we were forecasting dangerous heat. Now we're just forecasting daily showers and storms for us. Warm and muggy nights ahead for Sunday. Same story into Monday. We'll warm up a few degrees out there as well with an isolated chance of a shower or storm. We will have high pressure eventually trying to get some of this, this front out of here. And like I was describing to you earlier this week, that front frontal boundary has been like a seesaw. It goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. If we get that high pressure in here quicker, maybe it can limit our storm chances for Saturday. You can have beneficial to enjoy much of the day, but just do know there will be a stray shower storm possible, most likely later in the evening hours. And again, any storm that does develop is flash flooding, has high winds embedded in those thunderstorms. So hot and muggy will continue for the start of the week, going into the next week. And yes, the 90s are coming back again. We may be Possibly some computer models are spitting out some upper 90s uh, closing on a 100 again. So we'll see uh, how that all plays out. I know a lot of you are not a fan of this hot weather. Luis likes the heat, but he did tell you recently that it's to a certain extent that he's not a fan of it as well. I'm not really too pleased with 100 degree heat with high humidity values with heat index over 110. Not my cup of tea. So I'm going to pose the question here for you. Would you rather have a blizzard right now or would you rather have a heat wave again? I don't know. I'm going to let you uh, make that decision. Personally, I'd rather have a bit of a of a snow event to cool us off. But, but as you know, um, sometimes those snowstorms can linger a little bit too long in our hometowns. But also the heat waves, 
Heat waves are pretty short lived. They come for a couple of days and are out of here and we have to get back to near normal as well. So other than that, I am going to say farewell, adios, and hasta la vista until next time. I will talk again on Monday with, well, hopefully a better chance of some calming down as we do begin. By the way, the first day of August is on Monday. Just keep that in mind. So if you're keeping out wind uh, August, just be sure to write your checks, change those sevens to eights. Take care, everybody. We'll revene our conversation coming up next week. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.